Hello, hello. Hi, hi. It is uh, me playing video game time. Uh, Alright, I think everything's ready. Okay. So this is... Air, I guess. Memories of old. I think I saw this game on Steam, like... A few... It was like when there was the big... Lunar New Year sale, I think. Um, I don't actually know anything about this game. Uh, I'm not really going to mess with anything. Camera controls, though. I'll have to see what that means. Do I need a controller for this? Well, let me check. I didn't actually uh, check if this has keyboard and mouse support. I would hope it does. Because otherwise I don't know if I'll have a... I don't know if I have a controller that would work. Well, I might actually. I might have a controller. If I need a controller, I can grab one, though. Let's see what else there is. No? Okay. Uh, all right. I guess we'll just get started. Ooh. It's loading. Ock, listen. I know you are eager to explore, but the pilgrimage is important to the people of the sky. Oh, this does have keyboard support. As you know, in the early days before the Great Divide, the lands were very different from now. Instead of islands in the sky, the lands were one, and the ancients inhabited the world. They built great structures, among them three temples here in the land of gods. Your journey will lead you to all three of them. But something changed. The ancients somehow caused the Great Divide shattered the lands and left us with islands in the sky. The priestess Kara played, <laughs> prayed. The priestess Kara prayed by the lighthouse and found answers that helped our people survive the great cataclysm. The first stop for every pilgrim is to visit Kara's shrine. So go in, Ock. I will wait for you outside. Ooh. It's a little, a little loud. I will admit. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I can move. Let me see if I can turn this down a little bit. That'll probably be good. Oh, there's something up there. What is this? Like, oh, that was me walking in the, that was me walking in the bush. All right, what's over here? Oh, that's a pretty high jump. Okay. Can I get the mushrooms? That is still a little loud. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know if I can get that mushroom. Can I get this? Ah. Where am I going? Need to make sure I don't miss anything. Because I think this is like an open world kind of game. I guess right now this is like a tutorial. Ooh. Oh, that looks a little messed up. I'll read that. This tablet is really worn. A part of the text is unreadable. In the land of the gods, in the land of gods, there were three, in three houses, slumbering in eternal skies. Ah, that was it. Okay. Um. I want to look 
down here. Oh. Oh, I don't get to go up there, I guess. This game is really nice looking. I like the the art style. more stuff up there. Okay. It's like a, a big rock. Let's go up here. <laughs> nice. Okay, the platforming seems to be pretty forgiving from what I've seen so far. Oh, another like tablet thing. The memory of light in our hearts shining with the name of Kara. Her lantern guided and protected us when the world shattered and we became the people of the sky. Ooh, nice. Some little more mushrooms down there. Ooh, what's this? Oh, is that like a like a fox thing? That's kind of cool. I stepped in the mushroom. Nice. Oh, what? Oh, if you press shift, it it moves your camera to behind you. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. I think that's that little, oh no, this is a different area. It's over here. like little trees, patches of grass. There's something here. I thought I saw a bird, but I think that is a rock. <laughs> uh, let's go up there. Or let's go back up there. Where was I? I already was over there, so I think I'll go up there. What does this say? Enter the Hall of Memory, where sleeps the light of Kara. It never went out while she was alive. Ask, and maybe it will shine forth to answer you. Ooh, okay. Undertale. Ooh, what's this? Floating pillars. It got really quiet all of a sudden. Oh. Okay. Approach. I'll take this. Oh, am I lighting the lantern? Oh, I guess it's like a... I'm not sure what it is, actually. Oh? What is that? Oh. Yeah, this is sick. What's up, Sky? Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, this doesn't look good. And by not look good, I mean it's scary and threatening. Lantern. Oh, shit. Oh, God, what's happening? Uh, I, I gotta get out of here. I've gotta, I've gotta go. Uh-oh. That, uh... Leap of faith. Fuck. I'm going this way. There's secrets. What? Yeah, I haven't heard of this until like a few weeks ago when I got it on sale. Uh. Oh, God. Leap of fail. No. 
Oh no, everything is collapsing or being attacked. What? These lanterns will burn long enough. Oh shit, lore? Oh, there isn't another one. Ugh. I gotta go. Light at the end of the tunnel. Let's go. I think I need that, at least for now. Oh, hello. Ah, you made it out okay. <laughs> what? Ah, you made it out okay? Thank the gods you're alright. What happened in there? I thought the worst when the cave collapsed. Is that... the lantern? Hmm, strange. That lantern is an ancient artifact called Karaz Light. Somehow it shines for you. It's the first time in generations. Keep it safe for now. I'll stay here to investigate the shrine. You made it out okay, okay. Meanwhile, you should continue art. Blah. Blah. Meanwhile, you should continue. I cannot talk. Meanwhile, you should continue your pilgrimage. There's a village over by the lighthouse. Just follow the kites to get there. Talk to Dinah when you arrive. She will tell you where to go next. Old man doesn't know the shrine caved in. When jumping, transform. <gasps> oh shit! I am bird. <laughs> Let's go. Hell. Oh shit. Look at me go. The bird game has begun. Oh, look at that. That was cool. I'm already loving this game so far. Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> that was so sick. There's like a tree over here. What was that? Is it Super Mario World cape flying mechanics for the bird? I don't know. There's like birds over here. Hold well, on, I'm gonna turn up my, my mic a little bit. I think... I think my mic got messed up somewhere, or somehow. I don't know how that could have happened. But hopefully that's a bit better. Super Mario Quincy. That, that is such a cool little mechanic. You can just jump and launch yourself to start flying. This is so cool. I love this. I've only been using this mechanic for two minutes. And I'm such a... Oh, shit! What ha <laughs> What happened? Oh, there's like a little, a little tree over here. Oh, look at that cloud. It has like fingers or something. I also really like how the the drums come in. Like there's more instruments that come in while you're flying. I love stuff like that. Oh shit, Banjo? Banjo-Kazooie never leaves? Oh, you can pick up speed. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> Crash landed. What's over here? 
I was playing as Banjo in the last game, and now I'm playing as... I think the character's name is Auk. A-U-K. I think that's their name. I'm Kazooie! Oh, you're right. I literally become Kazooie. <laughs> it's Kazooie. Oh, you're right. Whoa! Wait, what was that? I need to do that again. That was... I need to do that again. That was cool. What was that, like, dive I did? Shit. Woo! This game looks unbelievably Bronto Bird. Oh, absolutely. I love games where you can fly as a bird. Things like this are my favorite thing of all time. I love just like looking at things. Oh. Oh, look at this. There's like geese. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to say I. Yo, what up? These are some, some cool birds. This is my friend. gonna put a smile on my face every single time I do that. Oh. <laughs> Youch. Okay. Where else can I go? I wanna go over here. This is this is the perfect game for me. New tone indicator alternative hashtags. Let's go. Who's that? Oh, is that a rock? Oh no! Oh, man! <laughs> can I can I help that that poor animal? Can I like move the rock? Uh, I don't know if I can do anything. That was sad. I didn't... Oh. Oh. What? Nice. It's like a, a well over here. Stages of finding the dead rabbit in air. Memories of old. Yeah. I want to see what that little island over there is. Oh, look at these clouds. They're so... They're so pretty. I love how this game looks. probably head over to the probably important area. I'm just having too much fun just flying around. <sighs> that 
That was cool. Alright, what's over here? Can I read this? Oh. What's in here? jumps so high it's crazy that looks like a cave hello yo yo <laughs> hello Ak and welcome what was that noise we heard what you made it out okay I'm John by the way Dinah and I take care of the lighthouse here on the island we try to make sure that nothing weird happens in the land of gods not an easy job considering all the strange old ruins and wonders here I haven't had much time to visit them since Aaron was born, but I don't mind. I think she longs for adventure, which makes her father proud. If you have the time, I would recommend you to go to the Windsong Falls. Alright. When the world was whole, a water spirit combed her hair at the stream there. Beautiful hair at that. The wind sang to make her hair flow down until it mixed with the clouds. Thus the rainbow was born. Not that I've ever seen one there myself, but it's a nice story. Anyway, you can find place just north of here. Continue beyond the clouds. Can all these guys turn into birds too or I don't know. I feel like they would be able to. Hey. Hello. Are you alright, Ock? It was Ock, right? We heard rumblings from Karaz Shrine. Thank- uh, blah. I'm so glad you made it out. My name is Dinah, and welcome. It was a long time ago we had a pilgrim here. Your mentor, Medvin, was actually the last one before you. My parents helped him back then. Now I, John, and our daughter Erin will help you. If you ever feel lost, just return here and talk to us. We are here to guide you after all. Every pilgrim's journey requires a visit to the three temples in the land of gods. Karas sealed them a long time ago, right after the Great Divide. There's a sigil in the ground close to each temple. That's where we gathered to pay respect to the spirits. And so you too should go there. Sacred words are revealed to those who approach with an open mind. The Eventide Sanctuary is closest, and you'll find it northwest of here. So, northwest. That's like that way. Nice. <laughs> Eventide, Breath of the Wild. That's your name, right? Right? What happened? Did you see any ghosts or spirit animals? Treasures? Secrets? So many. It was crazy. I want to explore, too. It's so unfair that I am, s that I am stuck on this island. Sometimes I go on adventures with my parents. But it's still adventures. <laughs> Ock Ock imitating crows. That's a crow moment. We once went to a super awesome place. It's up north and it's kind of snowy. Ooh, I like snow. With this huge statue. It's kind of broken, but still cool. And my name is Aaron, so you know. Alright. Can I save? Oh, I can. Nice. Cool, cool. I'm gonna go check that out after I look at what this is. Damn it. There's nothing in there. Oh, dude, look at this. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, alright. What's this? It's like one of those birds. <laughs> Baby sheep. And the, the fox with two tails. That's cool. Yeah, that baby sheep was pretty cool. Let's go. I can go on a boat at right? Boat adventure? Uh oh. Whoa! <laughs> Saved it. How's this boat hanging on? I guess with the, the power of Epic. I'm down here now.
Yeah, it's just the sound. Thankfully, it's just the sound. X. I will take this. What? Thankfully for me, yeah. I want to see what this cave is. I'm very interested in... Ow. I'm checking it out. What could be in here? Test, cock suck, penis balls, penis vagina, penis vagina, penis vagina. There we go. It doesn't show up on stream, so I'll just I'll just say it. Ooh. What? What was I doing there? That was kind of cool. You're judged. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't read this. It's written in a language I don't know, and much of it is broken and almost unreadable anyway. Maybe Medvin knows how to decipher it. Yeah, maybe. Can I read this stuff? Fuck. I need my lantern. <gasps> fish! Look at these fish go. Yo, what up? You are incredible. Fishies. Fish, fish, fish. Uh, I accidentally tabbed out. This game has been really nice so far. Where I am. Oh, birds. Hello. Dude. Whoa! Holy shit. Tiny sheep. Can I... Can I... <gasps> Hello. Let's go. This is awesome. Oh, this is the perfect game. Please, can I pick them up? Oh, I can't. This is a top one game. They do love me. Holy shit. Come along. Let's go. What, if, what about that one? I guess I guess they just stay with me. All right, I'm sorry. I do have to go. I have to, I have to fly. Farewell. Oh, they go back to their parent. So we're all good. I'm sure we'll see them again sometime. What is this? <laughs> Why run? I'm gonna look at this. It's the lighthouse. Okay. Okay. Who is Medvin again? Oh shit! I'm riding the fuck out of that wind. Uh. Wait, no. No. <sighs> All right, do I need to go this way? Oh, look at me go. This is so cool.
Weeha ass game. Hell yeah, it is. Is that a fucking ship? No, it's an island. I wish it was a ship. Oh. Hello, are you Medvin? Uh. Go up. Okay. I don't know what's happening. I don't think that's Medvin. Dude, you can like, you can insta switch. That is awesome. Velocity damage, one million. Okay, are you Medvin or are you someone else? If I had the time, I'd go with you to the Windsong Falls, a beautiful place, and it's just north of here. Past the clouds and you will soon see it. Just north of here. Okay. I'm going straight through this. Is it this? I kind of hope Breath of the Wild 2, whenever that comes out, has stuff like this. I hope you can just fly in Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah, me too. I thought it was a, a lot smaller. <gasps> what was that? What was that, Fox? Oh, no. I'm not looking at it. What is this? In the beginning, there was the dreamer, a sleep in cold eternity. She dreamed all there is. She dreamed a veil, and behind the veil, she dreamed the creator in the world, modeled from a memory of home. The creator danced into the world, and there he breathed the clouds and sang the sun and moon into being. As he danced between the clouds, he took four steps and so made the lands of the north, the west, the south, and the east. Then he formed the mountains and filled the seas with water from the clouds. And from earth and water, he made animals so land and sea would be alive. And fuck, I say. From stardust and eternity, he made gods to walk the lands and look, over, look after the world. Whew. This is a very, a very nice game so far. What's over here? What is this? Read part one. Okay. Be right back, it's making me hungry. Alright, see you when you get back. My name is Aram, and I was there on the day of the Great Divide. My youngest child was ill, and I asked the spirit animals for help. When I prayed by the shrine of Iloqui, a terrible brightness pierced the air, and the land trembled and screamed. In terror, I took flight and watched with eagle eyes as the land broke into pieces, which crumbled and turned into dust. Only one place seemed calm. I flew there and perched on it, horror struck. It was the lighthouse. I've seen that place. The lighthouse was surrounded by a golden shimmer that warmed and soothed me. I saw the priestess Kara pass me by, weeping. She held a lantern key, such as they make in the city of Urza. But the lantern was dead. The shimmer came from Kara herself, dwindling as I watched. She descended the lighthouse and I saw that many spirit animals had gathered around the tower, watching. When Kara came to them, they bowed their heads and then left as if at an unspoken signal. Okay. Kara then looked at me and said, You are Aram? 
I know you, and we need to talk. I found my voice and asked, What has happened to the world, Kara? She was silent for a moment and then said, A great danger has gone, but also a great light. It's time we gather all who are lost so that we may find a way for our people to live in peace with the world again. Ever since then, I have been flying from one broken island to another to tell the lost people that there is a new home, to lead them here, where we in time may heal again, where my youngest can regain her strength. Oh, wow. over there. What is this? What is that spreading its shadow across the sky? I don't know. I don't think I'm ready to go to it though. Was I going again? I think I was going this way. Oh shit. Fast flying. Oh, there's a map. Okay. I didn't know there was a map. That's cool. Alright, I guess I didn't notice that there was a map. There's so many dead animals. It's so sad. Oh, there's something over there. the elders speaking of the lands breaking apart. Apparently it's been happening everywhere. Stop saying such things, you're scaring me. Oh wow. I like this music. I love this music actually. Upgraded my opinion. I love this music. so I didn't take damage. <gasps> Use. What? Okay. I think I did something good. You got Reese's pretzels. Nice. Backward C unlocked. I don't know what it does, though. I'm going to fly into it. Oh, that's like shooting something to over there. So I think, I guess I'm finding like different things. Wait, was there a thing over there? 
No, that's just flowers. So happy that you're playing a game where I'm going to fly at it is a valid thought process. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy too. This is so, this is wonderful. Because I feel like no matter what game I'm playing, I always have the thought process of I'm going to fly at something. What the fuck? What happened? Why am I upside down? Uh... Um, hello? Uh... What? Air has become Australian. Why did that happen? That was so... What? Why did the game flip upside down? Okay. I don't know why the game flipped for me. That was so weird. Oh. Debuff. Yeah, the game has a random debuffing mechanics. Like some stuff on the walls. That looked like a pair of lips for a second. That was kind of funny. Oh shit, more birds. <gasps> Rare bird. I like the red one. That was absolutely an air of lips and an eye. Yeah. That is Kazooie, holy shit. One, it's red. Two, it's rare to get. Oh shit. What's up? A couple more people praying. Another cube for me. Unlock. Oh. Open. What's down there? Imagine if in Breath of the Wild 2, you could turn into a Rito. <gasps> Story? I am Rhea, Yohal's daughter. I sought out his words to make sense of what happened to him during his journeys. My father's burden lay heavy on his shoulders. Even though we found a new home, he was never the same again. There is hope, and more children have been born this spring than the last. We will recover, but I think he worried about things yet to come. I think the sickness of black rocks my father found scared him more than anything else. It's only been seen once or twice again, however. These islands we now wander are safe. Gara is soon having a child of her own, and laughter has returned to our hearts. Oh, Rocks. Oh. These people saw the Breath of the Wild announcement and had the same thought that you did. <laughs> yeah. Imagine they're making Breath of the Wild 2 and this comes out and they're like, fuck, 
we have to make a new game. I'm flying in the cave. I didn't think that would actually work. There we go. Ooh. What? Oh, I was floating for a bit there. The vault. This does look pretty vaulty. Oh, you can't transform in here. I guess that makes sense. Oh, am I going to be like solving puzzles? Oh, I'm hella down for solving puzzles. Fuck it, I'm solving this. Power up. Oh? Oh. Okay. So I like, I need to match the two, I think. So th that goes with, I think the other, the other C. This game is absolutely made for me. What could this be? Oh, it's the sun and the moon. I didn't even realize that. That's cool. I am unlocking the, the trident. Oh, it's a key. Goodbye, lantern. Oh. I think I did it. Okay. If I got a trident in this game, that'd be so sick. Can I do the puzzle again? What if I... Oh, I can't do it again. Oh wait, what? I Did I do the sun and moon on accident? Oh, I didn't do it on accident. I didn't even think you could jump up here. I just did that for fun. I didn't realize that was the sun and that was the moon. I did that completely on accident. I thought I was just matching two C's. I was going to make an O with a, another smaller O inside of it. Oh. I'm going to build up speed. Oh. very quiet it's a little a little ominous but I don't think anything bad could happen <gasps> hi hello little wanderer you took your time were you perhaps led astray or just followed by the slow one I think his name is Medvin slow as few shifters I have met but sharp, intelligent. Do you know what it is you found? You hold both light and key to lead you into twilight, both dusk and dawn, I believe. This is Twilight Princess. Southwest of here, is, there is a temple, the silhouette of the setting sun. You will find more answers there. Go now, bird faster than Medvin. Secrets await you in the deep. Seek counsel from the ones who slumber. Well, thank you. I talk to you again? The sound just now was like, wow, wow. I like this guy. So uh, I guess I hold like the key to Twilight or something. That's kind of cool. Oh, I thought it was raining. I was like, what? 
Okay. Uh, do I go this way? Oh, there's, there's things up here. Up there, we will layer to rest in that... Aw. Oh, is that, like, Farrah or something? Kingdom Hearts Mickey voiced the door to darkness. <laughs> the door to darkness? I can't do it that well. Doesn't he say something like, Say, fellas, isn't this, that, this, fuck. It was perfect, thank you. Isn't this the door to darkness? What the fuck? There's a bug on my screen. Get out of here. <laughs> he does say fuck. I think Mickey has always said fuck, but we just have never noticed. Like, you have to listen really closely when you're watching Mickey Mouse to hear him say fuck. I'm gonna go that way. That way looks interesting. Oh, it's down here. That's another one of those bird shrines. Say, fellas, did somebody mention the door to darkness? What is that down there? That looks cool as hell. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I don't I have no idea where Medvin is. But I'm just flying around. That was basically spot on how do I do that voice so well? I don't know. stayed to guard the lighthouse and I volunteered him to join him and I volunteered to join him on his duty in his duty I shall guard the land and its animals even if I do not understand why the priestess wants us to stand guard are the gods truly sleeping in this land and we are to guard them but why then are they asleep can gods even sleep I think this is just a story for children the gods are long gone from our world and their lands now belong to the spirits and the animals but names stay longer than the memory of the face Medvin is long gone. Oh, shit. Oh, no. That's not good. This looks important. Dude, that's like A Link to the Past, where there's a... There's like a boy on a stump. And he, he gives you an ocarina, I think. Or he gives you the flute. Can I just like sit here and talk to the butterflies? What up? <laughs> Blipply? <laughs> What's his name? Blipply? <laughs> What's over here? Hey, look at this. I've never seen so much water. Neither have I. That's a, a lot of water. I love this so much. This looks so cool. Oh. There's the key. see what these are. Okay, where the hell is Medvin? <laughs> like, I was not paying attention to what that that fox was saying. Maybe Medvin's, like, over there. Or something. Because I do actually want to talk to Medvin. I don't I don't want to like miss anything. I 
I am Yohal of the Southern Isles. This is my third and final record of my travels in the land of gods. I happened upon the fox just as I was about to leave for home. He sat in the middle of the road and seemed to laugh silently, as if to some hidden joke. I spoke in anger. My people are dying. Why is this happening? His smile seemed sad. The darkness within called to the darkness without. Heal your people to be healed. This is not your path, Yohal. I did not know what to say and stared after him as he left. Later, I realized he was right. It was not my path, but one for my whole people. As I passed the Twilight Lake, I met with Kara for the first time. She showed me the Eventide Sanctuary and asked me to gather everyone I knew. This is the refuge we had hoped for. I will journey home again, and I will guide my people here. I will see my only child, Rhea, again, and I will bring her hope. What happened around here? Oh, dude, more rare birds. Let's go. There's like no water here. The river, it has fallen. What of the spirit fish? Is she safe? This game has flying, gender-neutral, shape-shifting protagonist, flight mechanics, beautiful scenery, and interesting lore. What the fuck? Yeah, you get all of them. Where did the river go? That was clean, though. That was a clean little landing on that rock. Spirit fish, I think. I'm flying up. Oh wait, can I use my lantern here? I don't think I can. Maybe those are like checkpoints or something. Let's go more goats. <gasps> Wait. Oh shit, that one has rams. Hi. Yo, what up? Oh, there's another one. This is awesome. <laughs> They're coming all the way around. That self-proclaimed god reaches too far. I hope he stretches himself too thin. Why'd I look there? <laughs> no, that was, that was really sad. God, I hate Ta. Don't worry, they're just, they're just sleeping. All the non-bird animals are dying. What the hell? Looks like an old campsite over there. Wonder if there is something interesting left behind. Where the fuck is Medvin? I haven't seen him anywhere. Can I land on the cloud? Please tell me I can land on the cloud. <gasps> oh shit! I should have been doing that the whole time. What the hell? Look at me go. <sighs> Love this game even more. That is cool as hell. Can I fly through the water? Ah, oh, that's so sick. Oh, that 
That's so cool. And here I am. All right, let's open up this temple. Open temple. How's this gonna work? Oh. Welcome to... What does this remind me of? Why does that remind me of something? Oh, this is like that, uh, that... <laughs> Speaking of Kingdom Hearts, this is like that one room in Kingdom Hearts where there's a giant staircase, like spiral staircase down here. knows where Medvin is. Maybe we'll never see him. It's reminding me of the tower in Breath of the Wild in the desert area with the huge pit all around it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I see that too. We made it. Even tight sanctuary. Taking a shower. We will be safe here. You know, I'm not I'm not too sure. That uh looks very overlordy. Just saying it it's a little, you know, concerning. <laughs> I like this <laughs> this one person who keeps showing up, he's like, hey, we did it or something. Those are bones. This looks awesomely safe. What? Hmm. I have found a new dimension. <laughs> All right. Oh, climb it up. Imagine having to climb. Yo, what up? I'm going up here. It's a interesting little water thing. how it is. What does this say? The Twilight Guardian opened her eyes at the light of sun and moon shining together. She sat down and calmly took both in her sky hands, bringing balance to light and shadow. With her right hand, she releases the sun to let people back from the dream. With her left, she flings the moon into the night sky so that people may dream it all. She is the heartbeat of the seasons at the center of the world, the breath of life and order. Very nice. Ooh. Mushrooms. <laughs> that was a, a funky little boy. funky little man. This music sounds like something I would like fall asleep to. In a good way. This is very, very soothing. Fish. Let's go. over here. Oh, 
I don't want to. I don't want to go down there just yet. I want to look around here. So I guess like people kind of set up sight around here, which I guess makes sense because if you're exploring something, then you would probably do that. I don't really know though. I haven't done <laughs> exploration of unknown temples. If there's any temple explorers around, Hopefully you can let us know if this is accurate. You <laughs> haven't? I thought everyone did that. Oh shit, I'm behind. Oh, that's cool. Man has paws that cannot run, but chases longingly the sun. Man has wings that cannot fly, but he will always seek the sky. Man has eyes that cannot see, but watch eternity. Man is lost unknowingly in danger. To his own mind, always a stranger. Wow. I'm a temple explorer. This is kind of inaccurate. There's just tents and nothing inside of them. Well, given how, like, deteriorated these are, I guess they might just have deteriorated enough to not have anything left inside of them. Big door. Moon. Smaller door. I hear water. <laughs> Level one tents. Yeah. What is this? Use. Okay, so there's the door that I opened. Another switch activated. Oh, there's five. I thought there was just four. What are you doing down there? Oh, shit. That didn't look too good. Oh shit. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was looking at something on my other monitor. I'm gonna activate that one for last. That seems fitting to do. Could that last one be? Oh yeah, it was up there, wasn't it? I'm climbing on the, the lantern. Fuck. This is called a lantern skip. I promise this is gonna be work. This is gonna work. I'm building speed. Hmm. 
no, I did the same thing again. I think I'm supposed to go up there, or at least not that way. Maybe I can just jump over. Oh, I see. Oh, that was a, a speedrun trick. Whoa, that was kind of cool. I just need to open up the one in front of the in front of the door. Oh wait, Sky. I just remembered something I was wondering about. Do you know if channel point redemptions work with a VPN on? Try. All right. Oh, hello. L X G L X. Welcome. What is that emote? <laughs> nice. Oh, what's this? Oh, shit. This guy's <laughs> so you're having pronunciation of my name. It's Lax Galak. Oh, okay. Or <laughs> Galax. I said Galak. But welcome. Welcome to the stream. Oh. Not him. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh wait, uh hold on, I wanna read I wanna read part one first. I am Kara of the Thunder Islands. I had a strange dream that I will record here so that others may perhaps understand its meaning as I did. I had come to study the holy carvings in the lighthouse. That was so funny. <laughs> I'm really proud of that that redeem. I love that one. Uh, I had come to study the holy carvings in the lighthouse in the land of gods, trying to understand our heritage. As I reached out to touch some of the runes, it suddenly felt as if a warm hand passed over my eyes and I fell asleep on the sacred stone. What's funny here, I think, is how you just didn't mention it after. <laughs> yeah. You must be that follow past channel I did because I follow and just leave. Hmm? I don't know what a follow pass channel is. As I reached out to touch some of the runes, it suddenly felt as if a warm hand passed over my eyes and I fell asleep on the sacred stone. In my dream, it seemed to me that the stone beneath me glowed from within, forming a staircase up into the starry sky. You already followed me? Hmm. What do you know? Far away on these steps, a golden light grew and drew close, but never revealed myself. Nice. Uh, a person of stealth, I see. Far away on these steps, a golden light grew and drew close. Stars flew from the sky and became someone who had the shape of music and was gentle and sad. Oh, wow. The 
God spoke to me not in words, but in memories and feelings. He warned me of a terrible greed from beyond, a void in the hearts of men. As he showed it to me, I felt it stir and come between us, darkening the golden steps like a storm cloud, cold as eternity. Terrified, I cried out at the pull of this dark void and I woke. And I could not speak for three days, but I set out to the ancient temples immediately. Would do be this funky looking game. It's like, I think it's an open world game where <laughs> you, um, you can like shape shift into a bird. And I think you're trying to figure out some mystery from what I'm getting from the game. If what I've seen is true, the gods are alive and they need our help as we need theirs. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. I've already been over here. I think I need a, a bridge or something. <laughs> Where's broken? I just laughed at that cartoon sound effect. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes all you need is a funny sound effect to get a little laugh. Oh, oh, nice. going maybe I need to go over to where that maybe over there Looks nice. Whoa. Oh, are they? Oh, they're activated by my, like how close I am. Oh, that's cool. Hold on, I just want to look at this area without. Oh, that's that looks so cool. Climbing. No, I fell. Oh, there's something here. Oh, it's open now. Nice. Can I bird up in here? I don't think I can. The environment and scenery is really cool. I do agree. I haven't heard someone say dope in a while. Dope is a good word. Let's 
go. Birds. Bird moment. There's a lot of birds in this game. Those look like ants. Ooh, that looks like maybe a puzzle. What's over here? go. I always love seeing fish in games. Oh. What is this? Power up. Oh. Okay. Power up. This looks interesting. Oh, wait. Oh, it shows how much it turns. Okay. So I needed to hit that light there. Um, need to go to sleep since school, so I'll be lurking. All right. Have a good night, Lax Galax. I think I see what I need to do now. I think I need to move that there and then that over. There we go. Okay, so that goes there. I guess that powers the, the next puzzle. What's down here? Oh wait, I didn't even read what this says. When the world was still new and the creator had drawn the lands, the spirit animals gathered to talk. As Fox said, there are no there are new animals around. They walk on two feet. The crane said a new bird? The fox shook its head and said they have no wings. I would live here too, Sky. This is so nice. A monkey said, I have seen them too. They are without fur and they cannot climb well. An owl said they fear the night and drive it away with fire. An otter said they build nests on the land, but they are not one with it. A deer said they are loud and do not know how to walk the woods. A bear said they are like cubs who do not know the way home. The fox cocked its head and said yes. That is why we have to help them. Help them? The other animals looked stunned. Yes, the fox said. Their minds see eternity, and they are lost and afraid. They need something to hold on to, or they will harm themselves, the lands and us. The fox said. What do you propose? Asked a hare. I propose a pact, said the fox. If one of them can talk to us, we can offer him the bond with the land. The fox continued. If he accepts, he can take the shape of one of us, the one he made the pact with. And he will be one with the land and still will see beyond the veil. And he can guide and guard his people and so we all will be at peace, said the fox. The other animals saw the wisdom in, his, in this 
The other animals saw the wisdom in this and agreed to it. And so some humans can become one with the world, and the chosen were called whisperers. I wonder if that's what happened to me. Like the character that I'm playing as. Not me in real life. Though that would be cool. I do admit that would be sick. So now that is a sun, and I'm guessing the other has to be a moon. I want to fucking talk to animals. I <laughs> uh, me too. I wish I could talk to animals and also fly. Would you rather talk to animals or fly? Fly. Like if I had to make the choice, I would prefer flight because, you know, it's, it's generally more convenient to fly, I would think, than to drive a car or something like that. Do you think I can stand on that tiny little rock? Fuck. I'm going to try it one more time. Also, a question about that question. Shit. Do the animals know English? Or do they just say things? Like, if they're hungry, do they just say hunger or something like that? I think that's important to know. Oh, I'm down here. Seems as if the door has been stuck for a very long time. Wonder if there even is anything on the other side. Who knows? I've always been kind of skeptical about about talking to animals' superpowers because yeah, animals' language is really basic and usually based around body language. Yeah, I think that's like something that's important to note about the talking to animals thing. Yeah, limited English. And just kind of like concepts, I guess. But I guess knowing what an animal wants would be easier, like, to have as a pet, you know? Like, you could just know if a cat was hungry instead of having to guess. Oh, shit. the door to twilight that's what that looks like animal mind reading yeah <gasps> hello master hand and crazy hand? Come here, little bird. A very long time ago, your people addressed me as the Twilight Guardian, sitting at the border of dusk and dawn, ensuring safe travel on the paths to the land of dreams and back again. Even after the Great Divide, I was there, watching as your priestess Kara led her people to safe shores here in my temple. A long time have I waited for this moment to come. I have grown weak, 
but for the power I was lent tethering me to your world. Listen carefully, little bird. Once again, the void has awakened with great hunger, this time to devour all that is left of our world. My Twilight Guardian kinda. <laughs> it does kinda look like a fish with hands. But there is still a chance to stop him. The Priestess Kara hid three fragments of great power, one in each temple. You have to make the three fragments one again. I will give you the part I was given for safekeeping. Without it, I will fade into oblivion. It was it has been my link to this world since the time the gods were lost to the minds of men. But we cannot wait. Please accept my fragment and finish what was started so long ago. You know, I was kind of joking about the Twilight Princess similarities. Um, I just, just saying it's a little, you know, <laughs> oh no, I didn't realize that the Twilight Guardian was straight up dying. Oh shit, my power grows. Do I get bigger wings now? What the hell? I need my life. Oh fuck. Oh, that's the void, huh? Uh, I can't say I know anything about Twilight Princess, but judging by your reaction, I assume this is, like, exact. It's not exact. Oh, the void because it's a V shape. Uh, okay, I cannot go that way. I think I have to fly. But what I mean more is, like, that, like, fragment. People's Haven. That's the achievement I just got. Like... That little fragment looks like... Hold on, let me just... Let me try and find what I'm talking about. Okay, they're, they're called mirror shards. Hold on. Uh, that's a really long link, but that is what I'm talking about. Google links, yay. Don't go in there. Oh, shit. Well then, I don't think... Yeah, it's really, really similar. It's... Yeah. <laughs> okay, where am I going now? I don't really know where I'm meant to go. I guess since I finished one of the temples, I wouldn't mind calling it for this stream for now. Here, I'll, I'll try and just fly around to see where I need to go next. Oh yeah, I just remembered. I wanted to talk about the process of having to get that that channel point thing, the, the skeleton has appeared or the skeleton appears thing that was so annoying to have to put onto OBS and have it work right and I'm going to go on a bit of a rant to explain why so the video itself has like transparency I would redeem their reward but I only have 2k left don't worry about it so yeah I'll just fly around and rant about it so, it has, <clears throat> sorry, I haven't drinking a lot of water. The video has like transparency, so I had to, you know, render it with that transparency and turn it into a, a .webm file because um, MP4 files don't support transparency and I can't render in a MOV file, which is like some QuickTime thing. So. I chose not to do that. So I had to render it as an uncompressed AVI, which makes it like three gigabytes for what's an eight second video. And then I had to use another program to convert it to WebM. And that way it was a lot smaller and kept the transparency. So 
Yeah, three gigabytes for an eight, uh, eight second video. So I had to do that. And then I put it into OBS with the VLC video source. And as it turns out, that doesn't support transparency. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe there's something else I can use. And there was, and it's called a media source. I don't know why it's different, but I guess it is. So I did that. I put the video in that and the transparency worked fine. I was like, okay, cool. Works great. I recorded playing the video in OBS to make sure everything worked and it sounded right. There was no audio in the recording at all, even though I could hear it, no audio in the recording. So I was like, okay, that's weird. Um, that shouldn't be happening because I'm pretty sure I had everything set up. I looked it up on the forums, like the OBS forums. There was people having like similar issues and I was like, okay, this is kind of a common thing, but no one seems to have been able to fix it or it just happens to randomly fix itself, which made no sense and did not help me at all. So what I did was I put the media source, I like added it to another scene and for some reason it worked there, which made no sense. I didn't understand why it worked in one scene, but not the other. And uh, for context, I have like a 16 by nine scene and a four by three scene. So right now I'm using the, the 16 by nine, but if I switch to the four by three, that's what that looks like. So I added it to the, the four by three and I played the video and it worked. The, audio was in the recording, everything was fine. So for whatever reason, I had to, I had to duplicate my 16 by nine scene, which already had the same media source in it. And then it started working. So I don't know how that scene was cursed. It was, it was just not letting me like use that audio source for whatever reason and it made no sense but now it works the skeleton refused to appear now the skeleton appeared it just didn't make any noise which made no goddamn sense hello there welcome back again Ock. i hope your travels are easy on you erin is over her head and ears with joy that a real bird i thought that said real bird shitter <laughs> a real bird shifter came to visit to the point where I'm a bit worried that she will run off somewhere on one of her expeditions. Once in the north, when we stopped for a short rest by the hot spring, she was gone in a heartbeat. We looked all over. The storm of the Howling Peaks was less intense back then, but it was still very cold. We found a cave nearby and went on in to see if she had gone in, if she had gone there. She has a history, a certain affinity for hidden places. As it turned out, the spirit bear of the north had just recently moved in there. Aaron sat on his back, talking about everything between the sun and moon. Should I be proud or worried? Well, I always ran away at her age, so who am I to judge? Uh, I'm getting all nostalgic here. Pilgrimage. Let's see. So the next step is usually the archives, the temple in the east. The ancients built monuments and cities there, more so than in the west than the north. John has been there recently, and frequently, I know. It's said that the great... The signs of the Great Divide were early spotted in the east. Much of the ruins have been reclaimed by the land, but just continue to the eastern steps, and it shouldn't be too hard to find. So yeah, that was my little my rant about how for whatever reason OBS just didn't want to work properly until I duplicated the scene and then it was like oh now it works I don't know why it makes no sense hello Ak. if you're looking for Medvin he's in the cave here in the village probably studying some tablets what about a story maybe about how I met Dinah no one day I followed a honey colored doe across an island in the east the most beautiful doe I had ever seen suddenly I came up to a bird shrine there she was standing next to it she smiled at me and my heart was hers Dinah, not the doe dummy. Okay. 
The world is so complicated. It's so complicated. Yeah. It was the first time I visited the Land of Gods. I was chosen to take care of its lands while she was to inherit the duties of Kara's shrine. Pity that the shrine caved in. From what Di Dinah said, it might not be possible to rebuild it. I'll try at least. Anyhow, where are you off to now? Maybe the east is next in line for a visit? It's a bit wilder than the western islands, and there are many ruins from the time of the ancients there. I think the most impressive place is Leafla's Grove, home to Leafla, the spirit deer of the Land of Gods. In the grove grows a most remarkable giant tree, like a storm cloud. That one. Leafla hasn't been seen in ages, but it's said he saved the tree from the Great Divide. The ancients built some kind of altar near the tree. So far, I haven't found out what it does. Maybe it might be worth to take a look. Okay, so I guess next time I'm going to the east. Is this the cave that he mentioned? I could have sworn I went in here before. Have I been here before? Oh, there's Medvin. Yo, what up? Mm. Welcome back, Ock. Come look at this. I think I know what you found. The keys to the caretakers. They are described as glowing symbols. So I warped into the lantern, you say? Spectacular. It pains me that I can't go with you, but my back would pain me more. What? You actually used the key? It makes sense they would open the temples, I suppose. But to think my apprentice would converse with the caretakers in person. We all believed the gods were either in eternal slumber, 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 or perished. Our prayers have always been to the spirits of the skies and lands, and to our ancestors. I have a bad feeling, child, but if one was still slumbering, you should search for the other caretakers. Questions need answers before it's too late. It seems big changes are coming to our world, and I see you as my own daughter, Ock. Be careful out there. Promise me as much. Somewhere is the website I use on Saturdays. Oh yeah, somewhere is you scroll through it in your dreams. Okay. Uh I think that's gonna be it for me for now. Just gonna save. This game is really nice. Hello? Exit. I'm a big fan of this game so far. Um, I think I'll be playing through it more on Thursday. Uh, who's streaming right now? Uh, we can go ahead and raid Jacog. He's doing some Paper Mario speedruns. So yeah, I'll... Oh shit. Whoops. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this game, and I'm really... Uh, well, let me make sure he's not, like, ending soon. Nah, he's, he's like, in the middle of a run, so I think he'll still be going. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and raid Jacog, and I'll be streaming more of air on Thursday. All right, see ya.